everything in life will make meaning when you discover your purpose. Everything finds definition in life from a standpoint of an understanding of purpose. The reason why men and women live a life of regret is not because of anything, it's because of the lack of discovery of purpose. If you die walking in your purpose, you never died. If you die serving the cause for which you are born, you never die. You actually cheated dead. Every man that truly lives, lives walking in purpose. The frustration of life is when men do not walk in purpose. It doesn't matter whatsoever they have achieved. It's still a waste of time. This is the same reason why somebody can send you 10 million to your account. You will still go back home and be crying. This is the same reason why somebody can be married, yet again is not fulfilled in the marriage. Purpose is what brings fulfillment. You have to understand what I'm saying. Fulfillment in life is upon the standpoint of purpose. You can never be fulfilled when you don't walk in purpose. Happiness is not just when you are married, not just when you have a boyfriend, not when you get a job, not when you get an admission. True happiness comes when a man understands his purpose as he discovers. happiness is upon the standpoint of the discovery of purpose and everything find meaning and bearing from purpose with this understanding one of the greatest job of everyone on the earth is to realize come into a discovery of his purpose then begin to walk in it is that okay and when you are walking in purpose anything you spend including your life is not a waste I sat with a minister and we were discussing. I was trying to let the minister know how much he spent for the advancement of the gospel. The minister was wowed. Do you know how much our fathers like Bishop David Oedipo, Daddy Polineche, and the rest spent to advance the cause of the gospel per service per day? Do you know it looks like a waste? You will say it's a waste when you don't have an understanding of purpose. Everything exists to serve a purpose. Everything. And so long as that thing is serving a purpose, it's not a waste. Are you getting my point now? And when anything is not serving a purpose, it becomes a problem. Are you getting it now? If this handkerchief is not serving a purpose, it becomes a problem. It has no business being here if not for the purpose is serving. Is that okay? When anything is in a place and is not serving a purpose, it becomes a challenge. Is that okay? Anytime anything is in a place and is not serving a purpose, it becomes a nuisance, it becomes a problem, it becomes a challenge. So what then is the purpose of a man? One of the mentality I'm going to challenge is the ideology that has been passed down a long time ago to us that you discover your purpose by following your passion. It's one of the greatest lies in the discovery of purpose. It's a very big lie. You don't discover your purpose following your passion. I took out time to read Rick Warren. Rick Warren, Dr. Rick Warren's book. He had a book that um, is titled 
a purpose-driven life, right? It's like some days you took an exercise. After a while, you evaluate yourself. You discover a purpose. How many of you have read that book? Be sincere to me. Did you discover your purpose reading that book? Many books, when you are done, you realize it's that part two because I never discovered it yet. Why did they finish? I was still finding and start asking myself, who am I? Because purpose is not discovered reading a textbook. The man did not discover his own reading textbook. You will agree with me. You know, my perspective are not too sweet, but they will save you. You don't need to like what I'm saying. Just accept it and be praying in tongues. You know, these days I've been coming under intense criticism by people. Just because I say what I feel is okay. A preacher is not a man pleaser. I'm not called to please you. Are you getting my point now? Our reward is not going to come from you. If I'm pleasing you, eh? I'm going to kill you. Most people that backslide, most people that behave stupid in life are people that people try to pamper them very well. Please them. You know, when they try to pamper you, nobody challenge whatever you think you know is a problem. Do you realize many people's passion is not divine? Somebody's passion is stealing. Another person's passion is lying. Another person's passion is sleeping with many ladies. Another person's passion is sleeping with many guys. Another person's passion is watching movie. Is that one purpose now? When you sit down and evaluate yourself very well, most of the things that are your passion, eh, they are not holy. They are not divine. You know that those things that are your passion are actually your distraction. You don't get what I'm saying. So if all what you feel in discovery of purpose is finding out what is your passion and capitalize on it and say, this is my purpose, then you don't know why you are born. Because the reason why you are born is the prime primer for the discovery of purpose. And the reason why you are born has nothing to do with all those things I mentioned. Because somebody's passion is just dancing like this. Another person's passion is fighting. Anywhere he fight, he will just buy into the fight. Then they fight for you. Who start up? You will just go slap anybody. Then he will face the team. How can that person find his purpose by following that kind of passion? So I bring you to understand that purpose discovery begins not with yourself, not with a book. It begins with the knowledge of God. A man cannot know his purpose until he knows God. A man can't know who he is until he knows who God is. The problem I have with many of those people is that they isolate God from everything about you. And they think they can find out who they are outside of God. It's an adumbration. There is no designer that does not have a manuscript referred to as a manual that regulates what he creates. Every creator, to attest to the fact that he's a creator, he has a manual. How to operate this, how it should be done. Only the creator knows what a thing he creates is meant for. And only the creator knows how to function in that thing and operate it without the manual. Every other person must return back to the manual. And so, if God created you, how do you want to discover your purpose in isolation of him? 